Okay, so here we have the dinosaur from PRC. Um, he's got his walk cycle and I've created a, an animation layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you an example of how to use the cursor um, to kind of offset a pose. So I've, gonna, I've got these three controls that move the whole character. And so I'm going to go ahead and do shift cursor to selected and that creates a average between these three points. Um, but I'm actually going to do it where the pose is that I want to paste. So let's see, this is the frame I want to continue the walk cycle from. And then this is the pose where I want to paste. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this frame. I'm going to go to all, select all, go to copy, paste, uh, copy pose. And I'm going to go, go ahead and select the three controls again. All right, so now I'm going to go back to this point. And I'm going to move the 3D cursor forward to about where the foot is. And I'm going to um, select all and paste the pose. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to select the main movers. Do shift selection to cursor keep offset. So what that should do is it should keep the rope relative position based on what the pose was originally. And now I can insert a key um, based on my keying set. And I can go to keying sets and make sure that I have like whole character. And that way I can insert the pose. And right now there's no, no um, set to hold so I can do nothing so I could do nothing and now now you see it drop down and so that means that when I did the cursor I must have moved something so what I want to do is I want to go to the pose that I grabbed and I want to do um, cursor to selected there we go and then I will go to the side view on this frame, I'll scoot that forward and do keep offset and insert. It looks like I didn't quite get the frame, so let me go ahead and do that and if I delete this. So now I have a start of a, an action layer here. Now I could have him walk in place and then start to ma maneuver and move forward as a pose. And if I really wanted to, I could m make this as a new layer. I could insert a new track. in. And I could have him walk forward. And then continue the offset. Right, I could move this forward and do whatever. But I hope you see that this allows you to um, use the, the 3D cursor to offset poses in space. So this is how I use it. I go and grab a pose I want. I select everything. I copy the pose. I grab my main IK movers that I'm going to use to move the character through space. I do shift cursor to selected. I come out here wherever the pose is that I want to paste. I move that 3D cursor to where I want it. And then I paste, um, I paste the pose, paste pose, I grab my controls again, 
and then do keep offset and insert a key. And so now I can grab that and use that as a pose. All right, I hope that helps.